All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Call Hala Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And I shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening and learning and pushing this truth. And shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to watch this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And it's going to be um, real quick. I had two, um, well, a video and an article. That I wanted to bring out. And um, hey, this place is through. Beautiful times, like I always say. Beautiful times. Yapa, Yapa times that we're living in. For the elect, the elect of Yasharala. Horrific times for the rest of you. You heathens and two-thirds of our own people who refuse to repent. The day the Lord is going to catch you as a thief in the night. When you least expect it. Because you're not watching. You're not being diligent. You know. You're putting off the day of the Lord. You're thinking it's not going to happen in your lifetime. You're thinking um, this place will never go down. This devil will never go down. Esau will never go down. You're sadly mistaken and you're in for a rude awakening. This place is through. I don't want to rot the A 2023, the hopeful year where all the prophecies are fulfilled. All right. And it's looking like it, man. It's looking like it. This place is through. These people are through. So um, the first, uh, I'm not going to play this video. It popped up in my news feed. Uh, as you can see from four minutes ago, it's from CNN, and it reads uh, CVB, which is Silicon Valley Bank tanks. And um, obviously, Silicon Valley was where all the tech, all these tech companies were located in California, right? So what happened was it was mass layoffs over there, you know, a mass layoffs between Google, um, uh, Meta, all these tech companies laid off a bunch of people, man. You know, <laughs> and uh, we know those are well, those are so-called good paying jobs, you know, it's probably six figure jobs, you know, so hey, <laughs> beautiful times. So again, it says Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley Bank tanks and the article I was, I was, I was listening to it. They said um, basically they were they were fearing that there was about to be a run on the bank, meaning Everybody was going to run down there and withdraw all their money out of that bank, you know, which we know the banks don't have enough money to cover. If, if you were to do that, they can't, they can't, you know, they can't cover, cover the, you know, they can't foot the bill, you know, they take your money and they loan it out, you know, <laughs> which this fucking, I bought you that thick clay usury. This place is one big Ponzi scheme and it's, it's collapsing. The house of cards is collapsing and this thing is going to be global. Not just here in Babylon the Great. This is this is a global collapse. This is a global reset, and it's all by des design. First and foremost, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but also the wicked elite. They're collapsing this current fiscal system, this fiat system, this current way of buying and selling, and they're ushering in a new way of buying and selling. Okay, a digital system, which we keep telling you is going to be spearheaded by that karagma. That MOTB, okay, per Revelation 13 and 16 at RFID CHIP, okay, all roads are leading to the Karagma, but before that, all hell is going to break loose, Hegelian dialect, pressure from above, pressure from below, all right, you people are between a rock and a hard place, man, and it's going to catch you when you least expect it. Enough of me blibbity blabbing, so let's read a little bit of this, I'm not going to play the video because I don't want to get copyright stricken. So, as you can see, it says, um, Silicon Valley Bank tanks, uh, financial stress. FDIC, California regulators shut down Silicon Valley Bank. And again, they shut it down to stop the run on the bank. When you go look up what happened during the Great Depression, that's what happened. You know, everybody, it was long lines at these banks to withdraw your money and you couldn't get it out. You know, because this, we're actually in the midst of a recession we're probably in the midst of a depression, but they're just not telling the people because it's going to panic the people, you know, you know, we've been in a recession, you know, I beg to say we're in a depression. We're in hyperinflation, you know, you know, we're, we're past inflation. We're at high, we're at the stages of hyperinflation 
and it's only going to get worse and worse. It's going to spiral out of control. You're right. Hey, the debt clock is what? I think the last I checked, it was, uh, if my memory served me correct, it was $31 trillion and counting. You can't pay that debt back. You know, so what are they doing? They're just, hey, <laughs> running up the, the money printer, you know, because <laughs> it's we, we you, you're using debt bearing notes. You're not using real money, you know. Oh, beautiful times. So it says Silicon Valley Bank collapsed Friday morning at beautiful for the weekend. Beautiful, beautiful way to close out the week. Silicon Valley Bank collapsed Friday morning after a stunning 48 hours in which a bank run and a capital crisis led to the second largest failure of a financial institution in the U.S. history. I got to read that again. Silla, your pa, your pa times, man. More of these banks are going to collapse, man. Beautiful times, man. Beautiful, beautiful times. Silicon Valley Bank collapsed Friday morning after a stunning 48 hours in which a bank run and a capital crisis led to the second largest failure of a financial institution in U.S. history. California regulators closed down the tech lender. You see, those tech companies were, laid a bunch of people off. Beautiful times. California regulators closed down the tech lender and put it under the control of the U.S. Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. The FDIC is acting as a receiver, which typically means it will liquidate the bank assets to pay back its customers, including the depositors and creditors. And uh, your bank, I bank, the bank don't even, they only insure your money up to a certain amount. <laughs> this place is a fucking joke, man. The FDIC and independent government agents, Salaki, the FDIC and independent, hey, matter of fact, we did our, we did our videos on that. You have these different banks that are putting um, limits on how much money you can withdraw. Anybody with any kind of common sense has been uh, withdrawing from their 401ks, trying to withdraw from their pensions. They're taking slowly but surely taking their monies out, money out of, the, out of the banks, man, you know, buying up silver and gold, you know. You know, tangible things, tangible assets. So this this place is through, man. This place is through. Ya pa, ya pa, ya pa. Beautiful. More fire, more fire on this damn place. The FDIC is an independent government agency that insures bank deposits in overseas financial institutions. Said all insured depositors would have full access to their money. Who, who, who was it the other day? People, was it Bank of America? It's all type of shit going on with the damn um, these banks, man. You know, <laughs> not to mention they're in the midst of doing a test pilot for the CBDC. No coincidences, you know. Famine is setting in. Hey, it's beautiful times, man. Again, it says Slocky. The FDIC. I'm all over the place, Slocky, but it's just so exhilarating, <laughs> so exciting, man. We're living in exciting times. A beautiful time to be alive. The FDIC and independent government agencies that insures bank deposits. And overseas financial institutions said all insured depositors will have full access to their money to their insured deposits by no later than Monday morning. It is said it would pay uninsured depositors an advanced dividend within the next week, CNN's Matt Egan reports. So basically, this shows you um, the, 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 you know, the, the, this, this, this is the prime example of the times that we're living in. You know, you know, the, everything is about to collapse. The house of cards is about to collapse, man. You know, and and a lot of you people going to get caught off guard. You know, a lot of you preppers, you doomsday preppers, you know, you think you think you're um, you stockpiling different things and so on and so forth. You think that's that's going to save you. Nothing's going to save you because the times are coming into that's the judgment of you. How about you? How was shy? The only thing that's going to protect you is that hedge around you. That the wah, that spiritual mark, exempt from judgment, you know? Don't you know there there are books on the law? That there's there's laws, there's legislation, unrighteous decrees on the books about hoarding resources, you know? The the military can just come in and take all everything you stored up, you know? So this man, these people are through. Um, this is another article. It's like I said, to the video. I wanted to speak on that, and also this right here. Like I said, this thing is going to be global. It is global. It's a global thing because it's a global reset. It's a global agenda. 
for them to usher in this new world order, this new way of buying and selling, this digital system, which will be spearheaded again by the Karagma. You know, it's it's going to be nowhere to run, man. You know, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Because ultimately, the hour of temptation is about to set in, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's test. You know, he's about to test, he's about to try the world. You know, our greatest test is about to rise to see if you have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai or do you trust in man? Do you trust in the flesh, carnal things? You know, you know? Gonna take big faith in the times coming. You know, the just as is, as it is written shall live by faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. You know, so um, this is from Sky News. Um, this is in regards to the UK, right? I did a video the other day uh, talking about how that the housing market is pretty much through. You know, more more proof, more evidence. Not just here in Babylon the Great, but right over there in the UK. It says financial con financial conduct authority says three hundred and fifty six thousand financial conduct authority says three hundred and fifty six thousand mortgage bor borrowers could face payment difficulties by end of t June twenty twenty four. Those most likely to be financially stretched. These people are being oppressed, man. They're mourning. <laughs> they're treading water and they're about to drown. Those most likely to be financially stretched live in London and the Southeast and tend to be in the 18 to 34 age group. It says hundreds of thousands of mortgage holders could face payment difficulties by the end of June next year, according to analysts by the fin Financial Conduct Authority. The regulator has said that in addition to the households already behind on payments, 356,000 mortgage bor borrowers could face payment difficulties by the end of June 2024. It says people in this cohort rolling off a fixed rate mortgage could end up paying an additional $340 a month, pounds. That's pounds because it's in the UK, London. See, because that's what happened in uh, 2007, 2008. That you, they were on that well adjustable mortgage rate. I forget what the hell you call it. But basically... They, they bought houses. They really couldn't afford them, you know. They were making the payments for the first couple of years, you know. But then all of a sudden, the the mortgage rate, the interest rate on the house skyrocketed. They went from like 3% to like fucking 10, 12. I'm just, you know, giving a rough estimate. And your payments went up, like I said, three $400 a month and people couldn't afford it, you know. You know. And, the, and then once, once the housing collapsed, everything collapsed. Construction stop, everything stopped, man. You know, and that, and then ever since that, they put a band aid on a gushing wound. The you know the banks bailed them out. You had uh, that 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 they had a they had a saying too big to fail. You know, the banks bailed out the the government bailed out these banks, but no no bailout is coming this time. You know, they just gonna let this bitch collapse. No more stimmies, no more stimuluses, no more handouts. Like the scriptures say, they shall lament for the teat, the teat, the teats. You know, the gathering shall not come. <laughs> Beautiful times, man. People in this cohort rolling off a fixed rate mortgage could end up paying an additional 340 pounds a month on average. It says, while the numbers are high, it's a reduction of 214,000 from the 570,000 borrowers the FCA had in September 2022 estimated would face difficulty. The downward revision comes as the market expects the Bank of England to increase interest rates at a lower level than previously thought. This is uh, data from the Bank of England echoes the outlook. The central bank's financial stability report published in December said significant pressure, pressure Hegelian dialect, pressure from above, pressure from below. That, that great squeeze, the great squeeze. The devil is coming down with great wrath, Revelation 12 and 12, knowing that he had but a short time. But what did the scriptures say? When the enemy shall come in like a flood, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to lift up that standard for his elect. Data from the Bank of England echoes the outlook. The central bank's financial stability report published in December said significant pressure would be placed on the ability of households to meet their debts. Everybody's living paycheck to paycheck, damn their credit card to credit card, you know. It warned that 
economic conditions had deteriorated. For, for now, most people are keeping up with mortgage payments, the executive, director of consumers, and compet, compet, competition at the FCA said, but some may face difficulties. Yeah, because layoffs are coming. The grinding is going to come to a screeching halt. There shall be no work for Egypt, you know? Um, yeah, you get the idea. That's the point. That's the point. That's the point. So, like I said, two articles on the on the economy showing you that this place is through. You had a major bank that just collapsed, you know, and more to come, more to come. These people are going to lose it. These people are going to lose it. Beautiful times that we're living in, you know, and why is this happening? Because Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who's the wicked? Esau, Edom, per Malachi 1 and 4. And he's oppressing the people. He's ruling wickedly. You know, you know, matter of fact, let's get Habakkuk. He's the damn devil the Bible speaks of. He is the wicked. He's the Lord. He's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh whipping stick on the left hand side. You know, the Lord, hey, woe to you that go down to Egypt for help. A lot of you trust in oppression. You trust in perverseness. You trust in this devil. You know, a lot of you got these gifts, these different benefits, and a gift destroys the heart. You're in for a rude awakening. You trusting in this damn devil. It's going to lead to your demise. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse. Uh, I started 2. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. We're at the end. And the prophecies are screaming. They're screaming. You know? For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, though it seems like it's taking a long time, it's not. If you're truly measuring the time and you're watching everything, you see our redemption is truly nigh. All hell is about to break loose. Our salvation is truly nearer than even we believed. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is not a man that he shall lie. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is faithful and true. You know, and he's long suffering that all may come to repentance, but he's not slack as some men count slackness. You know, the day of vengeance burneth in his heart, man. He can't wait to redeem his elect and recompense our enemies. And that day is quickly approaching. It says, though it tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, his soul, Esau, Edom, the wicked, per Malachi 1 and 4, who's ruling, Again, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. You know, it what is that? Proverbs, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. The people are mourning. They're oppressed. They're stressed out. You know, behold, his soul, Esau, Edom, which is lifted up. Read Obadiah, the pride of his heart, he have deceived them. You know, behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. He can't get right, you know. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai made him to be the wicked, to do exactly what he's doing, to take peace from the earth. But behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. But the just, the just, the elect of Yasharallah, but the just shall live by his faith. Yea, also because he transgresseth by wine, his philosophies, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell. And is as death and cannot be satisfied. That's what you people are going to realize. You forgot who the hell is ruling over you. You know, you think this man is your friend. You think he has your best interests at heart. You don't understand. You're dealing with a goddamn beast, a savage. You know, who, who, what? Who enlarges his desire as hell. He's about to bring purity hell on you people. You know, the squeeze. He's about to squeeze you. And is as death. That's what he is. He's the harbinger of death. Per, per planet of the apes and cannot be satisfied ain't nothing you can do to please this devil all right he can't have he can never have his fill you know but gathereth unto him all nations and heapeth unto him all people that's what you see him trying to do with this new world order this one world order this one world government this one world system you know where he has so-called complete control and what's going to allow him to do that that karagma that rfid see him Shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, 
Woe, woe means destruction. Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. Everything this devil has, guess what? He stole it, you know? Rape, robbed, and pillaged the whole earth. He called it manifest destiny, the Monroe Doctrine. He called it colonialism, you know? Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? Not much longer. The joy of the hypocrite is but for a short moment, a short time, you know? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, that debt that I bought you, you know, shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee, and thou shalt be for booties unto them. Because thou hast spoiled many nations, all the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. That's a future prophecy, you know. A recompense is coming, but prior to that, all hell is going to break loose. You know, all hell is about to break loose. You know, we're at the door of Jacob's trouble. We're at the door of the hour of temptation. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. We're at the door. All hell is about to break loose. You see that? You see? This is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. I just read it. Jacob's trouble. That day is great. You know? Such, it says, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since a nation even to that time. You see, the times that we're coming into, you ain't going to be able to compare it to any time on the face of the earth. You see that? This depression that's coming, it's going to be worse than the Great Depression. Times a million, you see? Because that's the indignation of the Lord. His anger, his righteous anger, he's about to pour out on the earth. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, the elect of Yasharallah, every one that shall be found written in the book. And that's what that's our hope, you know, that we'll be delivered. That's why we're given diligence to make our calling and election sure. Many are called, few are chosen. We want to be chosen, you know. This is uh, Psalms 91 and I started at 8. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. That's our hope, man. We'll be protected in the time to come because we're going to need it. That's why we give diligence. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. The angels of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him. You see? And the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the righteous runneth into it and are safe. And that's our hope, man. That's our faith. We're prisons of hope. We're prisons of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And where our hope is that we'll be delivered in these evil days to come. Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which is quickly approaching, which shall come upon all the world. This is a global thing, a global collapse, a global agenda. You see, a global reset. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Our greatest test is about to arise. Our greatest test, man. You know, I don't want to rot this out. We'll, we'll, we'll pass it with flying colors, man. You know, um, that's the point. That's the point. That's the point. I'll close out there. You see, so, hey, man, keep pushing, man. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. Our redemption is truly nigh. This place is through. These people are through. You see, these people are through. You know, beautiful times that we're living in. Yapa, yapa, yapa. Wa abad babo kwam yasharala.